Hello everybody. So I recently made an Anime Last Stand video where I brought a bunch of old meta units into the new infinite and tested how far they could go. And today, in this video, I'd like to do the opposite. I'd like to... Wait, what's going on with my units back there? Are they good? No, whatever. Okay. In this video, I'd like to bring a bunch of new meta units into an infinite and see how far they can go. So I think it's going to be pretty fun. To start off, let's go ahead and see what is in the meta. Okay, I've got the tier list here, the official wiki tier list. This should be pretty accurate. It gets updated pretty often. So let's go to the infinite section. That's what we're doing in this video. And okay, meta ground at the top, we've got Heavenly Chad, Cursed Child, and Meteor Guard. For top of hill hybrid, we've still got Sukuna and Gojo. Okay, and then MASH, but I don't have MASH, tragically. Uh, next for meta support, we've got Dark Flash, Giga Chad, and Ice Ice Baby. And then farms here, we've got Idol, Best Waifu, Speed Cart, Pride Starter, Pride Knight. Okay, so I think the way I'll do this is I'll bring two ground units, one hill, two support, one farm? I don't know, something like that. Let's just go ahead and get a team together. So I've picked out my team. We've got Heavenly Chad, Boa, Yuta, Idol, Gon, and then Sukuna. I think this team is going to be pretty good, but do keep in mind that I think two of them, being Yuta and Gon, don't have their skill tree maxed and these traits are kind of mid, so this is not going to be like a leaderboard run or anything. It's just for fun. So let's get into it. So, wait, I'm looking pretty good. and. My units are doing that again. But uh, yeah, let's go into an infinite and see how far they can go. And I'm actually pretty excited for this because I haven't tested out Giga Chad much. I have overnight farmed with him to get his kills up, but I have not actually really tested him myself. So I'm really excited for this. Let's get into the infinite here. All right, I'm here in the infinite. So we are on Star Mansion, Nightmare Difficulty. Let's go ahead and see how far we can make it. So we're gonna start replacing Boa because it's the only one we can afford. It doesn't really matter in these early waves, because as you can see, they have 48 health. And yeah, it's just really, really, really easy until like wave 30? Wave 40? I don't know. But I think the last time we made it to wave 50 and then died to the boss at like wave 56. So hopefully this team can get further than that because these units are... Well, some of them are the same, but a few of them are more kind of new. So let's just keep farming on Oshi here. And yeah, this is going to be super easy. I'm just going to come back when I have money. Wave 34. I've got tons of money here. I maxed out my Oshi. I've been farming up. I went ahead and maxed out a Sukuna just to deal with airs and any bosses or anything. So we've got Sukuna already placed here. This is where I'm going to put most of my units. And we've got a Boa down, but unupgraded. So let's go ahead and throw down our first Heavenly Chad. I think he is a multi-placement though. Let's see how many we can put down. So, can I even put them here? Okay, this corner will have to do for something. Let's go with another one. Another one here. Are they in range of Oshi still? Yep. And another one here. Okay, we've got four Heavenly Chads down. I guess you can place four. How about another one here? Four, okay. And then Utah. How many is it? Three? Okay. So we've got three Utahs down, we've got four Heavenly Chads down. And let's see how many Gons we can place. Let's throw one here. Throw one... Can I go down a bit more? No, not really. Oh, right here. And then right here. And... Okay, it's three. So we've got three Gons down. And then we've got pretty much everyone placed. Let's just start upgrading now. Let's start with... A heavenly Chad to see his stats here. Boom. Maxed out. He's doing 679k every 3.47 seconds with 28.7 range. And he has this new ability called Heaven Time Stop. That's pretty nice. I'm guessing that's just the time stop. Because it's called Heaven Time Stop. So I'm going to wait until we're about to die to use that. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Let's go ahead and upgrade one of our Utahs now. Wow, he's expensive. And he is doing 660k every 6.8 seconds with 40 range. He is hybrid. He is a line AoE. It doesn't look like he has a status or passive or anything. So he's just doing a lot of damage. All right. Let's try and max out another one. Wow, I ran out of money. These units are very expensive. I guess we just might as well wait until we have enough for another. Well, we just got to wave 50. But uh, it seems like we're already struggling to 
a previous boss, Doobie. So let's just go ahead and try and use a time stop here. Oh, does it only hit stuff in his range? Okay, I just wasted a time stop. Can I use it on a different guy, or is it global? Okay, it's global. Let's use Flame Arrow. Let's hope this works. That... Okay, yeah, that worked. We're good, we're good. Now we should wait 100 seconds for another time stop on Heavenly Chad, which might take a while. I did max out some more Yutas here. So we've got another one maxed out, and I'm trying to max out this guy. There we go. And then I maxed out another Heavenly Chad as well. We've got two maxed out Heavenly Chads. Let's go ahead and just upgrade the others. Oh, can't get the angle. There we go. These units are very expensive. So if you're trying to actually max all of them, I would recommend bringing another farm probably instead of Gone, because uh, yeah, he's taking forever to try and upgrade. He's pretty expensive himself, and his passive doesn't do too much for the team, but it is kind of nice, I guess. Let's keep upgrading our Yuta here. So wave 54, let's see where that boss is at. Oh, right there. Okay. Blonde Vampire. Actually looks like we're taking him down. So, I don't know if I just got, like, unlucky last time. If it's a different boss this time, I don't know. We are still on Nightmare difficulty, so... I don't know what would make a boss easier. I guess let's just keep saving up and upgrading our units. Let's see if we can max out this Utah soon. Yeah, almost. Yeah, I've been trying to max out Utah to deal with these flying zombies because I don't think Heavenly Chad can hit them. No, he can't. Which is weird because I think if you look in your inventory and click on him, he says he's hybrid, but I don't think he actually is, so that's kind of weird. But yeah, I'll max out our Utahs here. Wave 57, we have passed what I got to in my last video, so that's nice. Oh, okay, I just noticed Blowford. I didn't see him before. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, and honestly, these flyings might kill us first. This might be an even bigger problem. So let's get ready on the time stop. It's probably been 100 seconds, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, it looks like they're too far to time stop now. But you know what, let's just use it for fun. Boom. Yeah, so he doesn't time stop anything that's outside of his range. Okay. That is something to keep in mind with this unit. Uh, I don't think we're going to make it to wave 60, but can we get 59? There we go, 59, right before we die. Perfect. So we have made it three waves further than my last video. And again, not all of these units have a max skill tree, and these traits are pretty mid, so... Yeah, this is actually better than I expected. I thought they might even do worse than the other video because uh, they don't have skill trees or anything. But yeah, that's going to be for the video. It was pretty fun to make. This was also just kind of an excuse to try out some of these new units that I haven't really used yet. So yeah, I don't know what's going on with my units, by the way. I don't know why they'd be walking in place like that. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. And have a great day.